Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about really quickly temperature and humidity for a Cuban tree frog. I'm going to take you over to my Cuban tree frog enclosure now that is up there in the 20 gallon uh, to talk about it while looking at the enclosure. Here's my Cuban tree frog's enclosure. It is a bit of a riparian polydarium type of setup or polyudarium type of setup where there's water, but it's 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 been it should be higher than that. But here's his setup. So there's always water in the bottom. So it's always really humid in here. And humidity should be like 60 to like 90%. So pretty, pretty high humidity over, you know, not normal room humidity because it is a tree frog. So it would need high humidity. And then for temperature, like absolute lowest would be like 65 degrees. Fahrenheit and then like on the higher end like 78 to 88 degrees which my room always kind of stays warm first part partly because I have the iguanas light on all the time and that actually produces a lot of heat and also because the cooling system in my, my in my house doesn't really seem to affect my room very much so pretty much all year round my room stays warmer than the rest of the house which is good for the the fish tanks and the enclosures that I have in my room so another thing that you can look at is not so much during the winter but like I'd say springtime through summertime you can actually get, like get on your phone and look on the weather app for Florida because these guys they're called Cuban tree frogs but they're actually invasive in Florida they do not necessarily do well during the winter but they do last through it but during the summer and spring then they do pretty well so if you were looking for something that's like 100% like this guy this one I actually got from Florida I took home because they are invasive there so they're not supposed to be there anyway so I took it home he's up here in he has like a coconut hide that he's in right now and that's just something that you can look off of as well but that's pretty much it for this video so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did like down below if you have any comments or concerns put in the comments below and if for more content then subscribe have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you in the next video.